In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to open up the image vectorizer and how to acquire an image that you can then trace and uh, then cut out using the program. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll go to page two here and I want to explain to you what the image vectorizer is actually doing. So I'm just going to insert an image and I'm just going to come down and select this one here. And let's paste that there like that. And I'll zoom in. Now that looks like nice crisp artwork. But in actual fact it's not, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I go to Images here, I go to Edit Image. I load it up in here and still it looks nice and sharp and crisp here. But if I grab the Zoom tool and I zoom in a little like this, you can suddenly see that this is actually made up of literally tens of thousands. In fact it's uh, 1000 by 500, so it's actually half a megapixel this image. Um, and it's made up of you know uh, half a million of these little tiny pixels. And these pixels, really, you can print them, of course, but you can't cut them. There's no information here to cut. So what you have to do is get the image vectorizer to come along here and trace around each one of these pixels, and then using the settings, such as smoothing and corners, etc., actually apply the settings to the curves that you create to create nice sweeping bends around here and circles and nice sharp corners, etc. Uh, that, that turns that into a... Um, into all vectors that you can then cut out on your uh, your vinyl cutter or your onto your plotter. So I'll just close that. So that's how or what the actual vectorizer has to do. That's its, its main function. And to load the vectorizer is very easy. You need to have an image selected like this. And you can come down to this button here and you can click on uh, vectorize image here to bring it up. Or you can acquire an image from your scanner. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Another way of getting to it is up here in the second row of tools when you're in object mode. This tool comes out here and you can click on vectorize trace image. So to bring that up I just simply click on this uh, button here. I'll just position it in the middle so we can see it nice and clearly. And you can see it's immediately loaded in this image. Now I'm not going to go over all these tools and functions here because it's, it's far too complicated to do that in one lesson. I've got a special lesson for that that you can watch later. And uh, I'll then explain to you how all these tools work. But the, the nub of the way this works is you simply set the colours you want. So in this case, we've got these are our main colours. With this being uh, clicked off, that's the background. If I click that, right click, you can see it brings the background. There's no point tracing white. That's a waste of time, so you just turn the background off. You can set all these different settings in here. But essentially, it's a pretty powerful uh, module this. So you can essentially just click Trace now. It goes through and traces it. And it's almost practically ready to use as it is. I mean, it's traced that quite well. If I click Accept, and I zoom into this, and I go into wireframe mode, you can see here this is ready to cut. So when you've got good quality artwork like this, and this was just a standard JPEG, uh, you can literally load it straight into the uh, image vectorizer, maybe set a couple of little parameters, and immediately trace it. And um, you've got this ready to send to your, uh, to your cut file. So I can come up to here. Uh, click send a cut file, I'll just make the window a little bit smaller to show you and you can see it's automatically colour separated this all for me ready to go. So using this module to um, to load in artwork is very very easy. So I'll just click on cancel there for a minute. So that's how that works. Now if I wanted to acquire an image, in other words somebody's given me a piece of physical artwork that I want to actually uh, scan in and then trace, that's also very easy. Now I've got a letter that uh, from Citibank's just come in and I'm going to use their uh, letterhead for uh, the example so the image I've got to trace is very very small but I want to do that on purpose. So you come here and click on the file menu and you come down to acquire image and you can click acquire there or alternatively you can come down to this button and click acquire image. Click that button there and this little module pops up. What do you want to scan? Well, I know what I want to scan is very small, so I'm going to set the DPI to 300, and it's a colour image. And I know it's in the top left-hand corner of this, this page here, so I'll click on Scan. And my scanner turns on, scans in the image, and returns it to me there. And as you can see, I've got this Citibank logo here, and it's very, very small. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crop this image. So I come down to Crop, bring that down like that, bring that down like that. I don't need the R because I can insert that R, that's just a standard symbol to insert. It's easy to do that in the program. So I've now got my logo and as you can see it's very tiny. I don't have a lot of good detail there but I click accept. So there's my little logo or my little um, scan there. Again I come up to vectorizing, vectorize trace. 
and you can see it immediately loads it in. So I've got my original and I've got my preview. Now you can see this colour here, we don't need that. If I right you when I right click on this you'll see what will happen. This all sharpens up because it's not using all these uh, extra colours around the fringing, around the edge of the, uh, the item there. And what I'm going to do in this, this uh, particular case, I'm actually going to add detail because it's such a small logo. Add detail, apply, 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 and it just adds that little bit of extra detail for me. And I can now just click, um, just click the corners there and the smoothing off a little bit, which will suit this particular job. Trace now. And you can see it's instantly traced it. Uh, the corners are sharp. The sweeping bends are good. The corners here are sharp. I'm actually quite happy with that. It's uh, a very powerful module. This click accept loads it back into the program for me. Now this is no longer a bitmap or an image, this is actually cuttable. So I can go like this and you can see it in wireframe, that's actually cuttable. So what I can do is select over that, cut file manager, make it a little bit smaller so I can show you, and you can see, ready to cut. So scanning in some uh, artwork and loading it into the image vectorizer using uh, Vinyl Master is incredibly easy and it's incredibly fast. And uh, that's the end of this lesson.